What is up everyone, East Coast Facts back again with another, another video. And today I'm going to try and continue my uh, monthly hauls type video that I tried last month with January. And since I know this is a bit late, um, March is like halfway done, but like, I, I, I'm I sorry, I, I'm, I'm really going to try and uh, get these out a lot faster and quicker. So for February, let's uh, get into it, shall we? So the, the first things I got in February was from these three figures I got from a friend of mine. I uh, paid around 70 bucks for these three Star Wars <laughs> Black Series. Season seven, Ahsoka, and two clone troopers in the back there. And I'm very happy to finally own a, a, a Ahsoka figure, more specifically one from Clone Wars, because Ahsoka is probably my favorite character in Star Wars. And it's going to have some clone troopers as well. Uh, hopefully, uh, Black Series, or I can, I'll be able to find them at, at like a cheaper price in the future, and I can keep adding and adding and, and do an entire like army of, the, of this version of the uh, clone troopers from the I think the 332nd Ahsoka troops, right? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's the the classification or whatever. But um. They, they are great they move great they have a nice um shelf presence shelf presence as well um the ahsoka is great the only thing i don't like is the hands like this hand is like it moves up and down but this one moves like has the like no this one moves out up to down this one is kind of like side to side and i wish like it was either like it was just, it was just both of these hands because like this hand fits this lightsaber a lot better than this one so, I, I mean, I, I just wish they went with both hands on this one. But other than that, the figure is great. Um, of course, I do wish she had double knees and double elbows and all that amazing articulation that I always complain about that. I always, that every figure in 2023 or whatever should have, like, no more single joints in, on figures. Like, I should be illegal, to be honest. But they're so great. I still very much enjoy them. And they're very great. And happy additions to the growing Black Series, sort of like Clone Wars-esque collection that I'm building here. And then the next figure I got was the Mafex Loki from Infinity War. And as you can see, um, I have a, a big uh, Infinity War display going on right here. And uh, I, I love to just keep adding to these. Uh, I am just trying to build a more specifically a Mafex Infinity War display, and then like I'll just um store it out to other companies for like figures i don't really want to pay all that much for like that group i'm not gonna buy a mafex one unless it comes with a whole bunch of stuff and a rocket as well um but yeah the loki the loki is cool the like once again he has he does have single knees which i do wish he had double and i, I wish he had some sort of like torso articulation because the torso is just uh, just flat like that. There's no articulation in in it at all. But the head, the head is great. I love the Tesseract. I really did only get him to put him in this one single singular pose because it's really the only thing he can do. And the Legends one is kind of kind of difficult to, to find right now. And uh, yeah, he looks great. I love being able uh, being able to add more to this display. And uh, yeah, I think the only other legends I want to add in here is that Rocket and the Thanos with his uh, five children, like Amazon box set that came out a couple of years ago. I still need to get that. I don't even know if it's possible anymore. That's probably skyrocketed in price or something. But I definitely need those figures so I can have the uh, Thanos and the Black Order or the Black Children. I forgot what the team was called, but it was either one of those two names. So I can add them to the Infinity War uh, display. And uh, I got Iron Man on pre-order. That Marvel Legends Iron Man is a placeholder. So once I get that, I, that Mayfix one, this one is uh, going outie. So yeah, look is great. If you're trying to 100% 100, 100 this line, then uh, you definitely do need him. But uh, yeah, he is pretty great looking though. And the last figure I acquired for the for the month of February was an actually a Grail figure of mine that I've been wanting for years now, and it is a Mesco if you can tell. Um, this figure, it went on pre-order and it didn't 
like it was supposed to have something that it, like it did the last i'm sorry it, it it didn't have something but people uh, uh, enough people complained about it that that Mezco added it back and i still wanted to wait until the figure came out to really see how it, they uh put put it on because i wanted to see if i liked it or not and i watched the amazing review and i fell in love with the figure and i wanted it so bad but uh-oh i was too late and I, I've been searching for a good price on that figure for years now. And finally, this uh, last month came along and I was able to get one for, I think I think I paid like 116 bucks for it. And it is the Mezco Marvel Immortal Iron Fist. Let's go, let's freaking go, man. I, I love this figure. He's great, he's a grill of mine. I'm so happy to finally have it. The sash looks great. Um, that that's what the, I was uh, referring to earlier, but uh, yeah, this figure is great. I'm so happy to own this in my collection. I love this character so much. I, th I just he's uh, so cool, and uh, I I just he looks so cool, man. I I can, I'm I cannot believe that I actually have one of my grails in my uh, Mezco display, and this early I wasn't expecting him to uh, at least get it for another couple of years or so. But um, I'm very, very, very happy that I owned him. And thank you to, to, to the person who sold me to him. And uh, yeah, I cannot, I cannot thank him enough, dude. Uh, the only other grail I need for my Mezco, and then I think I'll be done, would be like a Mezco Dr. Fate, which I also passed out for some stupid reason. And the Mezco PX Sorrow Night Batman. And then I think that's, I think that's it. I think, I don't know. But um, yeah, Iron Fist is awesome. Um, I'm so happy I own it. He's awesome, yeah. <laughs> and that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, sorry for me uploading this so late and so deep into March. But for this, for so you, there will be two uploads this month, specifically regarding this sort of haul type video. Um, I will try my best to get the March video out actually this at the end of this month. And I've been getting some pretty cool stuff this month, so I cannot wait to to actually like show you guys. Uh, I'm really excited to uh, to actually get some in hand that are just shipping now. So yeah, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.